Hi, this is Nkechi from The Vent. I would like to welcome you to The Vent Craft if you're just joining me for the first time. I make it a point of duty in this channel to show you how to make lovely, unique fascinator designs as well as tips and tricks in your millinery journey and I crown it up with some catalogs on new designs I create to increase your creative ability. So today we're going to be making this lovely fascinator. It's a black fascinator. It has a small base if you look at it and it's made with crinoline. Before we proceed, I would like to thank my returning subscribers for coming back to check out my videos and for those who haven't, click that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified of all my new videos. Now let's dive into today's training. So what we're going to be needing is our needle and matching thread. Now you can see the thread is black which matches our crinoline that we're making use of. Now this crinoline was made with a 6 width inch crinoline. Um, that's the loops and if you check in the Vent Craft Academy we have a training that shows how to make this because it's joined with the fascinator we made previously. Then the next thing you'll be needing is your crinoline. Now this is one yard of crinoline and I used bias to sew. Now if you check the video up you will see how to do that, how to sew bias to your crinoline. Then the next thing we'll be needing is our already molded um, pad. I used pad to do this, so it's molded with pad and I've attached my Alice band. If you check um, the description, you would see a link to a video where you would learn how to mold with pad. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be sewing the edges of the crinoline. And as the two edges we're going to be sewing it with our thread i would like to take a break and introduce you to the Ven craft academy fascinator class one where if you can see the loops that i use today it's in the gold fascinator if you check the description of this video you would see the link to our reception where you get more details also you need to shine your eyes very well as i offer my dearest subscribers discount for all the trainings in the Venn Craft Academy. So keep a lot by paying attention to my community post. Now let's dive into today's video. Okay so as I said the first thing we're going to be doing is to sew the two edges of our crinoline that has been lined with bias. Remember if you check the description below you would see um, a video of mine where I showed you how to sew the bias to the edge of the crinoline. So we're going to do the same to that side. Okay so now the two sides have been sewn. The next thing we're going to do is gathering the other edge, the other side of the crinoline like I'm doing. Can you see I'm, I'm doing almost as if you're making pleats but folding them on top of each other. So that's what I'm going to do throughout the length which is one yard of this six width crinoline. So can you see how I'm doing it like that? So that's what you're going to keep on doing like that. Keep watching and learning. The next step is to check with your dummy and your molded fascinator where you want to place the crinoline you have just pleated. So that's where I want mine. So now all I'm going to do is to sew it to the base. Now when sewing, I don't, I'm going to be making sure that the thread doesn't appear so much on the underside. So once I take it underneath, I would take the 
put the thread back close to the same place that I put it in just keep watching you see I, I've put okay I'm about putting it out now so I've put it out there and I'm going to place it close to the thread sorry my hand is blocking it but close to the thread so it's not visible the thread is not visible at, at, at all underneath so I'm going to sew this round where I just pleated in, um, on top so that it holds firmly to the base okay so now it's time to place the loops or flower loops made with crinoline on the fascinator so we're going to do it the same way that we did the first layer that we put on top you're just going to be taking it in and out and taking it round in a circular form so that it sits firmly on the fascinator now if you have gained value from this video so far please do click the like button up yes just click that thumbs up that you see that is um, below this video to let me know that you have gained value thank you then also if you're my subscriber and you have joined defense crafts academy please do let me know in the comment section let me know just say i am in the defense crafts academy and let me know what you think about it Thank you. Okay, so back to our video. I noticed some threads showing and I like my work very neat. So I'm going to be using these little feathers to cover up the thread everywhere. So I have an excellent finish. Then the final step is to take the round, I made the circular round object from Shining Poly and I used the exact scissors to cut it out. So I'm going to use that with my glue gun and place it to cover the thread that I used to sew the band to the molded base. And this is it. We have this cute, lovely looking black fascinator. There's another way you can put it. You can turn it to different locations and it all comes out lovely. Thanks for watching and staying till the very end.